money because most probably majority actually according to you know uh fdi in kenya the issue of bank accounts a lot of kenyans do have bank accounts but there is more potential in that regard and you have some money in the bank you ask yourself who ensures this money who makes sure that in case anything happens to the bank at least you're getting uh something out of it and right now i'm joined by mr mahmoud ahmed who is the current chief executive officer of the kenya deposit insurance corporation initially you guys were under a wing in this you know central bank of kenya but right now you're independent uh not so much known of your activities what is uh, kdic and uh, thank you and uh, thank you kenyans kdic <clears throat> is a successor of the former dpf deposit protection fund board which was a department in central bank mm -hmm. and dpf had the limited what we call limited mandate of providing deposit insurance and liquidating a bank. They mm -hmm. were, that was during the, under, during the undertaker regime. Mm -hmm. Used to be called undertakers. Mm -hmm. Now, KDIC was uh, started in 2012 under the KDI Act, and uh, it created a statutory organization called KDIC, independent of Central Bank, mm -hmm. with an independent board, with five independent members in the board, with an expanded mandate. Mm -hmm. And in the expanded mandate, we have three um, functions under that mandate. We'll continue providing deposit insurance, as you rightly said. Mm -hmm. Sit back, relax. We have, we have insured part of your money in the bank. So far, we are covering up to 100,000 shillings. I know people are surprised about 100,000 shillings. Yeah. But 100,000, we are covering 97% of the deposits. Mm -hmm. That is in, in the number. country. Yes, it's in the country number. 7%. Yes. Mm -hmm. However, value, we're only covering 8%. Mm -hmm. So. The other seven percent own ninety-two percent of the deposits in the bank. Uh, should that be a concern? Don't worry. It is. It is a concern. So, those are some of the things that now KDIC is addressing, mm -hmm. and very very soon you'll be hearing some other announcements. Mm -hmm. Actually, those are some of the incentives that you want to bring to the deposits because what we ask in Kenyans, mm -hmm. make sure you take your money to the banks. Our banks are strong, sound, and stable. Mm -hmm. Don't put it under any mattress. Bring the money into the banks, let the banks invest for you, let us invest for, for the country. Definitely. So KDIC is called a risk minimizer. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to minimize risk, to work very, very closely with the National Treasury, the Central Bank, and our member institutions. We mm -hmm. call them our membership. Mm -hmm. And our membership are licensed and regulated commercial banks and microfinances. Indeed, who pays premiums annually? Mm -hmm. So we are building a fund, we have a fund, we call a resolution fund. Mm -hmm. So in the unlikely event of a failure, that is where we draw the money. Oh. KDIC is not an undertaker. KDIC is playing a role of a doctor and a consultant. We'll be working very closely with the central bank and the national treasury and our membership that at an early stage, what we call early warning signs, we are developing early warning signs regimes and initiatives that we can move into a bank at an early uh, possible time, mm -hmm. we work with the central bank, we look at what is the situation in the bank, then we work together to resolve it. We are called a resolution authority, that is our third function. Yes. We are a resolution authority. Recently you must have seen what happened in Chesbank. Mm -hmm. That was all thanks to the KDI Act, our act, which is being rated as one of the best acts in the world. Indeed, in 2016, we were awarded the best deposit insurance in the world just because of our act. Wow. And our act is aligned to the international best practice, where I'm one of the assessors. Actually, in Africa, I'm the only assessor of the international best practice. And I also sit in the board of the International Association of Deposit Insurance, mm -hmm. where we make uh, decisions for the deposit insurance. Okay. Indeed, in Africa, we are only two who are driving that mandate. That is Nigeria and ourselves. And, and now we are trying now to assist the other deposit insurance to drive. So KDIC is a proactive, Resolution Authority. Definitely. Yes. And I, I'm glad you have highlighted uh, the key issue that I've noted is, you know, basically, in simple terms, stability. Yes. And uh, one of the issues I'd like to pick your mind upon is this issue of red cap because it's a huge discussion. 
we see it in Parliament. Parliament is like, we have to maintain this. This touching the bank, the banking sector. Uh, and we see, uh, you know, uh, people in terms of credit, even to, to the small and medium-sized enterprises, reducing because banks are not willing to take that particular risk amongst these people at such percentages. So uh, this is a personal opinion from somebody who's practiced finances uh, and whatnot. Should the red card be done away with or maintained? I may personally, I may not comment about the the, the, the red capping. That mm -hmm. red capping is something between the central bank, the national treasury, and our parliament. Mm -hmm. And I think it's a matter which is still before parliament and is supposed to go to his excellency, the president. Yes. There are different school of thoughts about red capping. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure we shall come to a mutual understanding. Definitely. And that is what, what we're encouraging. We should all come with a mutual understanding. It should be a win-win for all. Mm -hmm. It should be a win-win for all so that we all, because I believe all of us at the end, at the end of the day, mm -hmm. whether you're a bank, whether you're a depositor, whether you're a regulator, we all have what we call one common public policy objective, which is to foster and to enhance financial stability. Definitely. All of us, mm -hmm. actually, that is a common policy that we all share. Definitely. So, and that is that will, that is our, our our convergent point, and I believe we shall reach there to resolve some of these things. Definitely. Yes. Uh, thank you very much, sir. Yes. At least now we understand what KDIC does. Yes. And uh, hopefully now you know somebody as you place your money in the bank. Yes. You understand that this money, at least, it's yes. insured. There's right. some you know uh, risk is reduced to it, but yeah. also at the same time working day in, day out, to make sure that there is stability in exactly. the banking sector and the financial sector at large. We appreciate that. And Thank you, uh, but follow us tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow there is a big announcement which will be made, Yes, which will be part of our initiatives Definitely. to enhance stability in the country. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. And we shall be a light in that particular right. uh, move. Yeah, thank you. See so how much. it will benefit Kenyans. Thank we you. We appreciate it, sir. You. Okay, right. so thank you. So there you have it. Uh, KDIC, the Kenya Deposit Insurance Corporation, uh, is the uh, Chief Executive Officer Muhammad Ahmed, just highlighting the roles that they are playing. Oftentimes, you know, anything touching on finances in the country, we normally refer to the uh, Central Bank of Kenya, but Central Bank also has different departments, and KDIC was uh, formerly under them, but it went aside with more and additional mandatories and duties, and that is what's been highlighted in this particular interaction that we've had. So with that said and done, uh, it is quite, uh, when it comes to timing, actually, it's 10 minutes to four right here on business today. I hope you've had engaging and very informative, you know, discussions that you've, you know, I hope you've tapped something from it, from the tea sector into the banking sector, very, very informative. That's it and done. Thank you very much for watching Business Today. I've been your pilot. Don't keep